so radial pulse so pulse is observed for rate rhythm character volume radio radial and radio femoral delay and condition of the vessel wall so pulse is observed for rate rhythm character volume radio radio pulse radio femoral delay and condition of the vessel wall so first one is rate to assess the rate radial pulse is frequently used and it is superficially placed so count the beats for at least half a minute if the pulse is regular and multiply it by 2 to get the rate in beats per minute if pulse is irregular count the pulse for full 1 minute to get the approximate rate and if pulse is irregular then also count the heart rate with stethoscope for 1 minute and calculate the pulse deficit so what is pulse deficit it is a heart rate minus pulse rate that's why we have to measure the heart rate using stethoscope and it is for measured for 1 minute so pulse deficit is heart rate minus pulse rate so vice versa is not true because pulse rate can never be faster than the heart rate is very very important so pulse deficit is heart rate minus pulse rate and pulse rate can never be faster than the heart rate so pulse deficit it is more than 10 beats per minute occurs in atrial fibrillation and less than 10 beats per minute in ventricular ectopics but it is, uh, this is not a hard and fast rule so is very very important and uh, the normal resting pulse rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute in an adult and in children it is 80 to 200 beats per minute so children it is more than 100 that is 80 to 200 so pulse rate it is less than 60 beats per minute it is called as bradycardia and pulse rate it is more than 100 beats it is called as tachycardia so causes of fast and slow pulse rate bradycardia that is heart rate less than 60 beats per minute it uh, divided into sinus bradycardia and arrhythmic bradycardia in sinus bradycardia due to sleep athletic heart hypothyroidism hypothermia and poisoning um obstructive jaundice and arrhythmic bradycardia carotid sinus hypersensitivity sick sinus syndrome and complete heart block and tachycardia high, uh, heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute this is also divided into sinus tachycardia and arrhythmic tachycardia sinus tachycardia due to uh, exercise fever use of tea coffee pain anxiety thyrotoxicosis and arrhythmic tachycardia is due to atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter next moving on to the the second characteristic feature of pulse is rhythm so the normal rhythm of heart originates from the sa node the, uh, so it is called sinus rhythm so sinus rhythm is seldom completely regular because heart rate increases during inspiration and decreases during expiration a condition called sinus arrhythmia so the sinus arrhythmia is most obvious in children young adults and athletes so the normal rhythm of the heart originates from the sa node is very very important so pulse is irregular it is important to identify the nature of the irregularity and to determine whether it is present continuously or intermittently that is uh, irregular is continuously or irregular is intermittently uh, so irregularly irreg- uh, there is uh, two type of irregular pulse one is irregularly irregular pulse and another one is regularly irregular pulse irregularly irregular pulse causes are sinus arrhythmia atrial ectopics ventricular ectopics and atrial fibrillation with variable response and second degree av block with varial response and uh, regularly irregular pulse causes due to ventricular ectopics in trigeminous pattern and atrial flutter atrial flutter and the third characteristic feature of pulse is volume so volume the degree of expansion displaced by artery during diastole and systole so volume it is the amplitude of the pulse 
so it is just by the palpating finger and high pulse pressure is more than 60 mm hg and low pulse pressure is less than 30 mm hg and normal pulse pressure is 30 to 60 mm hg so the normal pulse pressure is 30 to 60 mm hg so method to decide volume of the pulse so pulse volume is decided by the amplitude by which the finger is displaced during palpation with each beat so normally pulse is felt without lifting of the fingers it's very very important without lifting of the fingers is normal if it is lifting of the fingers is present there is a high blood pressure uh, high pulse pressure if it is there is no uh, pulse is felt with uh, pulse is felt with difficulty it is low volume pulse and the causes of change in volume of the pulse a uh, good volume pulse is called as hyperkinetic pulse and low volume pulse is called as hypokinetic pulse so good volume pulse is due to physiological and pathological causes in physiological it is due to exercise emotion anxiety heat and pregnancy pathological is due to fever thyrotoxicosis anemia beriberi vasodilators and mitral regurgitation aortic regurgitation and low volume pulse Physiological causes are tachycardia, shock, valvular stenosis and pathological causes are congestive heart failure, peripheral vascular disease, dilated cardiomyopathy. These are the causes for low volume pulse. Next moving on to varying volume pulse is either pulses alternance or pulses paradoxes. First we are going to see pulses, pulses alternance. So, what is pulses alternance? It is a regular pulse but alternate beats are strong and weak. So, it is difficult to appreciate pulses alternance by the palpating fingers but is diagnosed while measuring the blood pressure. So, when the mercury is being lowered, the stronger beats are here first. On further lowering, the weaker beats also become audible, the suddenly doubling the number of audible beats. So, pulses alternance is a regular pulse but alternate beats are strong and weak so pulses alternance is a sign of severe myocardial disease resulting in left heart failure is very very important so pulses alternance is a sign of severe myocardial disease resulting in left heart failure next moving on to pulses paradoxes so it is described pulse that increases in volume during expiration and decreases in inspiration. So pulse that increases in volume during expiration and decreases in inspiration and ex exaggeration of normal phenomenon. So it is a misnomer because this variation is physiological is most accurately assessed using a appropriate blood pressure cuff to measure the difference in systolic pressure between inspiration and expiration so it is a misnomer pulse paradox pulses paradoxes is increases in volume during expiration and decreases in inspiration so pulses paradoxes is seen in conditions associated with Restricted diastolic filling of right side of the heart during inspiration. Examples are constrictive pericarditis, cardiac tamponade or massive pericardial effusion. An increased respiratory effort in severe asthma during inspiration or lowered left ventricular stroke volume in shock. So, these are the conditions that are associated with pulses paradoxes. Next, uh, next characteristic feature of pulse is character. So the normal character of the pulse is fairly rapid rise, rounded peak and fairly rapid fall. So rapid rise, rounded peak and rapid fall. So the wave, uh, wave forms consist of a percussion wave, tidal wave, dichrotic wave and notch. So these are the character of pulse. Fairly rapid rise, rounded peak and fairly rapid fall. Wave forms are percussion wave, tidal wave, dichrotic wave and notch. Next moving on to radiofemoral delay. 
so what is radio femoral delay delay of femoral as compar compared to radial pulse is seen in coarctation of aorta and occlusive aortic disease so femoral delay of femoral as compared to radial pulse is in coarctation of aorta and an occlusive aortic disease the coarctation of aorta is nothing but constriction or narrowing of a part of aorta resulting in slow transmission of pressure wave hence the delay so femoral pulse is delayed than the radial pulse it is called radio femoral delay and what is radio radial delay one radio radial pulse usually the left side is delayed in preductal coarctation so one radial pulse usually the left side is delayed in preductal coarctation it is radio radial delay the next characteristic feature of pulse is arterial wall the aorta and the large arteries stiffen with age as they become atherosclerotic as the aorta becomes less distensible a given stroke volume causes a greater rise in the systolic blood pressure so systolic hypertension with a widened pulse pressure often ensues so peripheral arteries tend to lengthen become tortuous and feel harder hence vessel walls become palpable so arterial wall or becomes larger arteries stiffen with age because they are atherosclerotic so water hammer pulse so this is called water hammer pulse it is better appreciated in the big vessel because they are atherosclerotic 